Actually, before we get on with some um, gluing, what we're going to do is um, make these wheels look a little bit cooler. So what we're going to do is bring you in, is what we could do, we can actually get um, a sanding stick, get a nice coarse sanding stick. And what we're going to do is we're just actually going to sand. So sand these rubber road wheels. All right, like so. And what you want to do is lightly do it. We don't want to press too hard because um, sadly they don't do like a really coarse sanding stick um, in the spongy version, right? So we don't have a spongy version one. So we've got to use the flat one and we've got to be careful not to make a flat top. So we're going nice and light. And at the same time, we want to sort of move with the curvature if you can see what I'm sort of doing going with that curvature rather than just staying in one place and just sanding like so you know we don't want to get that flat top and we just want to sand it all the way around and what this will do is it'll give us a nice texture to our rubber road wheel right so again the same with all those little cuts we put in there when we come around to do weathering and using pigments and and all that cool stuff Right, the pigments will go into all these, this light bit of sanding, give us some nice texture and nice effects and realism and all that, that good stuff. <laughs> Just blow it off and hopefully you'll see that now it's got this sort of nice rough texture to it. Right, so now we can come to some gluing. Now when it comes to gluing, um, you know, it's come a long way uh, modeling really when it comes to gluing. I mean, we used to have this glue where you'd sort of um, glue a bit inside there and then you'd place that on there and it could get quite, quite messy. Now we have stuff like uh, Tamirex Trophin Cement. We've um, even got the Mr. Cement S. Right, um, normally the popular one is the Tamiya Extra Thin Cement. I do like this new quick setting one they do. Uh, they, did, they did used to have, it used to be just the Tamiya Extra Thin Cement. This one is basically the same stuff, but it sets really sort of quick. It really sort of very quickly sort of grips in and sort of locks in pretty quickly. And what we're going to do, we're going to take one of these little rubber sort of rings just here we slot it inside there and then we want to test fit it first whenever it comes to any sort of gluing you do want to be test fitting there is like little notches as well just inside both sides so you can get them lined up just right and you should be able to feel them kind of lock into place right um, however again because i say test fit you do need to look out for a bit of flash right i can just feel with my nail I don't know if you can hear that, but there is like a little ridge to this where it's got a little bit of flash on it, um, and that can hinder the gluing process. So I'm just going to, you know, sand away that little bit of flash that's on there so it isn't going to hinder the gluing. Because um, as you can see, I've already glued quite a few, and one or two have been hindered, and it makes it sort of go. A little bit wonky uh, maybe best showing you on this camera makes it go a little bit wonky so it's maybe like that or something right and we want it to be nice and straight right so i'm just sanding these make sure i get rid of all of that ridge that's going on just there and that should end up fitting a little bit better which it does right now, when it comes to the glue, just put this back in there, right? It's not a case of we put the glue in there and then bring it together. Um, with these new glues, it's a case of actually bringing it together, then you get your glue, right? And then where the join line is, we get our Tamiax Twin Cement and we just put that in there, right? And basically, this Tamiax Twin Cement is just so nice and thin that it sucks into the gap, right? Got this capillary action where it just sucks right into the gap, right? Um, which basically means you are targeting that gap, that join line perfectly, not getting it anywhere else, right? And it just goes in there and what it does, it starts to dissolve the plastic, right? So instead of like, um, it actually glues it together, bonds it together, what it does is the plastics 
melt. And when the two pieces of plastic melt, they ooze together. And when they start to dry, they have basically become one, which makes it a really sort of good join, as you can see just there. Maybe show you again with this little hub cap. And we're just gonna pop onto there, right? It's in place. And then we actually get the glue and we just know it's gonna suck in between that join line. Maybe give it a little press and there we go. All nicely glued with a nice bit of texture on our road wheel along with little bits chipped out here and there, making that look rather, rather cool. So with a lot of building armored vehicles, it is kind of basically just a brick that we glue lots and lots of bits on. So, um, you know, I've been doing a load of glue in and it is, you know, just to maybe show you a quick little bit more. It's just a lot of this. We just place on a piece like so. We get some of our Tamiya Extra Fin Cement and we go around the join lines, just letting it flow in there. Give it a quick little push and there we go. It just locks into place pretty sort of quick and easy. Um, now what we do also have is these cool little things. We've got these torsion bars, right? Which actually virtually act like real torsion bars in a sense. We basically um, push these pieces in here. Now in the instructions it says not to glue them, right? But, uh, well, it's not very clear about how to glue them and it does kind of say not to glue them but basically we push this inside here and we get these little torsion bars just inside here um, and really I think what the whole idea is is that it acts like a real sort of torsion bar so um, if we get some glue and just glue just on the ends just in here where the bar comes through we just glue it down there give it a little push down Right, and what that should do, that should lock that in there now, but only at that point, which then allows our torsion bar to actually basically work. It actually lets it move, which is going to be really sort of cool. So it's not a good idea really not to go off and glue it here, right? Because that would lock it in position. But by actually doing it like that and having it work a bit like a torsion bar, we're going to have all these actually moving, which is going to be sort of really, really cool. Because if you ever do something like, say, a diorama, put this down on a diorama piece or something like that, um, what it's going to do is it should, in theory, sit and the torsion bars are going to go with whatever sort of diorama you have, which could be sort of like a, an uneven surface and the, the wheels should sort of go with it, which is quite cool or at least um, you'll be able to sort of like push them and sort of move them to sort of get them to go with whatever sort of rocky roughy surface it goes on so it's, it's a nice touch to it and I already know that the um, the actual trap links as well are built individually so they're going to be able to flow with whatever diorama terrain feature you've got so um, really cool feature there um, another thing is we do need to drill some holes now when it comes to drilling holes right we've got one just in here it does give you sort of a nice little locator hole just there all right it does ask for a a 1.1 mil i think it is uh, somewhere on here uh, i'll find it later I'm, I'm sure it was a 1.1 mil i've only got like a a one mil just here all right but hopefully we'll get away with it um, if not you can just make it a little bit bigger with say a a um a blade but what you want to do is just plain and simply just slowly just cut into that well drill into it with one of these hand drills this hand drill um, is by citadel it's a bit expensive you don't need to buy expensive ones really uh, but you can get them at any ho online hobby shop for a couple of pounds now when it comes to um, drilling what you'll find is the opposite side is going to look a little bit messy uh, which hopefully you can see there it's a little bit sort of flashy around the edges I just like to get my nail, right, and what you do is you just sort of 
rub it along here and what it'll do is it'll get rid of most of that sort of flashiness and then just to neaten it up a little bit more get the drill and just in and out on the opposite side and that should make that um, hole look um, nice and neat no flash going on around it which then for that piece we could then glue this in and those little holes there's like little tabs sticking out just this side which those go into those little holes there so that sits in there nicely I'll probably glue that on later 